In today's video, we are going to explore 55 calm quotes to soothe your soul. Let's get started. A man of calm is like a shady tree. People who need shelter come to it. A samurai must remain calm at all times, even in the face of danger. and through the heat of conflict, keeps the law in calmness made and sees what he foresaw. Be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. Be like a duck paddling and working very hard inside the water, but what everyone sees is a smiling and calm face. Breathe, darling. This is just a chapter. It's not your whole story. Calm is a superpower. Calmness is the criterion of spiritual progress. Plunge the purified mind into the heart. Then the work is over. Character consists of what you do on the third and fourth tries. Develop the superpower of being calm in tough times. Take two minutes to meditate. Give me coffee to change the things I can and the beach to accept the things I can't. Gratitude expressed to our Heavenly Father in prayer for what we have brings a calming peace. A peace which allows us to not canker our souls for what we don't have. Great people are not affected by each puff of wind that blows ill. Like great ships, they sail serenely on in a calm sea or a great tempest. How beautiful it is to do nothing, and then to rest afterwards. I began to regain a measure of calm. I had done a good job tying the ladder to the tree, after all. It wasn't going to come loose just like that. I think about what I'm reading or writing. All you need is a little peace and quiet and the words will come to you. Your own voice or the others. Your own voice or the voice of God. Perspiration, inspiration. It feels like a gift. I will breathe. I will think of solutions. I will not let my worry control me. I will not let my stress level break me. I will simply breathe. And it will be okay because I don't quit. In the madness, you have to find calm. It's all about tuning out the noise tuning out all the stuff that simply doesn't move the game forward. The doubt, the personal agendas, the often deafening fear of judgment, and the need to please, so that you can ultimately get to that place of quiet, of calm, where you can focus on what really matters. Learning to ignore things is one of the great paths to inner peace. Life is like the ocean. It can be calm or still and rough or rigid, but in the end, it is always beautiful.
Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Magic happens when you do not give up, even though you want to. The universe always falls in love with a stubborn heart. Mindfulness is the practice of letting go and relaxing into the present moment as it is. So, gently, relax, relax, relax. Nobody can trigger your emotions without your permission. Learn to be calm and centered no matter what's happening outside of you. One minute of patience, 10 years of peace. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Peace is accepting today, releasing yesterday, and giving up the need for control tomorrow. Peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is, rather than as you think it should be. Remain calm during a storm until you know you can fight back. Remember, the entrance to the sanctuary is inside you. Rule your mind or it will rule you. Slow down, breathe, don't rush. Let yourself feel everything you're holding inside. Joy, pain, heartache, exhaustion. Feel everything, listen. Take time to nourish what your soul needs the most. Take 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, a day. Take a break to slow down. Sometimes there is no time to wait for the sea to calm down. If you have to reach your target, let your voyage start and let the storm be your patch. Step back, allow things to unfold. There's beauty to be found in letting things be. Stillness is where creativity and solutions to problems are found. Stop trying to calm the storm. Calm yourself. The storm will pass. The best things happen when you're not overthinking it. The chaos doesn't end. You kind of just become calm. The day she let go of the things that were weighing her down was the day she began to shine the brightest. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. The primary cause of unhappiness is never the situation, but your thoughts about it. The reinvention of daily life means marching off the edge of our maps. To be calm is the highest achievement of the self. Today I am calm. My body and mind are still. If I feel drawn to any drama, I step back and separate myself. It does not touch me. I breathe and relax. I am the calm between the noise. Today I will not stress over things I can't control.
When the odds are hopeless, when all seems to be lost, then is the time to be calm, to make a show of authority, at least of indifference. While you are walking, smile and be in the here and now, and you will transform that place into paradise. Worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles, it takes away today's peace. You can do anything, but not everything. You can't do traditional work at a modern pace. Traditional work has traditional rhythms. You need calm. You can be busy, but you must remain calm. You don't have to control your thoughts. You just have to stop letting them control you. You flounder through life, struggling desperately, so you won't drown, even though you would float if you just relax. You have dug your soul out of the dark. You have fought to be here. Do not go back to what buried you. You will never be free until you get free from the prison of your own false thoughts. Please let us know your favorite quotes from these inspirational calmness quotes in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.